Greetings fellow YouTubers, this is Ahant Ionex, and today we're going to be doing a video review on Transformers Legacy Buzzworthy Bumblebee Tow Line from R.I.D. 2001. Starting off in tow truck mode, it is tow truck. Very scooby dooey looking in the color scheme. Obviously a repaint from the Junkion, so there's a lot of spikes and rivets and stuff like that throughout the entire thing it is customizable you can take off this entire hood you can take this off you can take these off this 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 you can basically do whatever to this thing pretty much as long as you can you, know, you can put the front of something onto the front of this or whatever have you so yeah rolls okay mainly just kind of slides but yeah, so now let's move on to the transformation. Here we have Toe Line in robot mode. As you saw with the transformation, being one of the guys that are designed to come apart is a little finicky to transform it. Not everything I think can be detransformed without taking it apart. So that's. A little frustrating but we now have the question of what do we do with all of these these are the extra parts that you take off and you know you can obviously put them wherever I put these usually on the tire ports for me personally just to get them out of the way or I'll either just have them off one or the other you can have the toe on the shoulder and you can do the shield on the other. Like that probably be more like that. So it actually is like a launching hook weapon. But that's mainly like the kind of junky on stock look. What I kind of do with the weapons at least is I leave the toe on the back like that. Basically kind of where the original toys toe hook was then i have the spike here on an arm and then i have to bring out these these are probably my favorite part the little secret blasters or little bits in the legs super cool gimmick and yeah just plug those in his hand so yeah then you just have the little guns in his hand fairly nice so Obviously, let's see a closer look at the robot mode detail. Some venting in the face. Very accurate to the toy. Nice greebling throughout. All the way down. Then, of course, on the back. This is where the back kibble folds up. It's a little hollow, but it's whatever. Okay. So, moving on to the articulation. The arms go out about that far before they collide with the head obviously they swivel around but being five millimeter port they will get loose on you in fact my copy is already fairly loose and this is him basically out of the box so just be warning of that double jointed elbows due to the little hinge in the bicep for transformation and obviously get a swivel there and a swivel at the wrist the head spins around of course so does the waist the legs are the more modern kind of system, so they go out about that far, back really decently. And of course, you can do a full split. Then you have a bend at the knee, and then a swivel there for the transformation. And then really good ankles. He's got really deep bend, a little bit out as well. Some forward when you remove the guns, and really far back for transformation so yeah ankles are really good on this guy so yeah so now let's move on to size comparison so for size comparison here he is with a fellow take apart transformer with kingdom slammer and fellow rid 2001 character sideburn so there you guys have it that was my video review on transformers legacy buzzworthy bumblebee tow line this is a really cool figure, and the I don't mind it as toe line. I know some people were kind of eh about it, 
the only real complaint I have about the toy, and it's I imagine it's the same complaint everyone probably has about it, is that it's annoying to get because it's buzzworthy Bumblebee, and not every Target is good at stocking these. I didn't like I didn't even find mine at my Target. I found mine several states away from me. So yeah, but if you can find it, it's a really nice version of the character. But obviously, if it's not quite your color scheme, you don't really mind it. Obviously, there's two different versions of this mold as Junkions that you can get that are pretty cool. My only other real issue is that you could have a floppy copy like mine, but I mean, there are ways to fix that, so it's not a big deal. So, if you like this video review, like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other reviews as well as my videos on the channel and my social medias in the description down below. And until next time, you guys, peace.